Hello, hello. This is your host, Michael McNamara. I'm going to try putting together a screencast today. I know I've promised in some blog posts that I would actually start doing some screencasts, so what better time than now? I'm going to try to limit the ums and ahs, but I will challenge someone to count them up and post them post the number in the comments below. It should be entertaining. You can find me on Twitter at MF McNamara and on the internet at blog.michaelfmcnamara.com. Today I'm going to talk about JunoS and how to configure an idle timeout on CLI sessions. I'm going to demonstrate uh, using a Juniper SRX210, but the steps should be valid for any JunoS device. I'm using an OpenGear console server to remotely connect to the console port of the Juniper SRX210 that I have here. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's uh, have a look and see what our CLI parameters look like from the start. Uh, so we'll do a show CLI. And then uh, we can see in the second line down that uh, idle timeout is disabled. Uh, for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and set the screen width to 132 characters. And that's going to help uh, prevent some commands from scrolling off the screen um, or being abbreviated. So. So let's start by just having a look at the existing config before we get too far. So we can see from the configuration that we have, we have a single user called admin, and that user is a member of the class super user. Um, so there's really three simple steps or commands we need to issue to enable or uh, idle timeout on the CLI sessions. Um, essentially we need to create a new user class. Uh, we need to set the idle timeout on that user class and then we need to associate our user admin with that user class. So I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Uh, hopefully we don't uh, fat finger too many times. We'll go ahead and enter configuration mode. So I'm going to use the name super user local as the class and I'll set the idle timeout on that to 10 minutes. I'm also going to set the permissions for that class to all since this is going to be an administrator. And now I'm going to associate the user admin to the class super user local. Let's go ahead and commit those changes. It'll take a few seconds here to commit. And then when we're done, we're going to go ahead and uh, exit and then have a look at our config to make sure that we did everything right. So the commit took, so now we're going to go ahead and exit configuration mode. We'll do a show configuration system login. And now we can see in the configuration that we have a new user class called super user local. The idle timeout is set to 10 and our user admin is now associated to the super user local class. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and um, log out and now log back in. There we go. Let's just go ahead and show our CLI parameters and see what's set. So we can set in the C on the second line down, our CLI idle timeout is set to 10 minutes. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to use a little Jedi mind trick and accelerate this recording because we really don't want to wait around for 10 minutes, do we? So through a little video editing magic, we are now uh, nine minutes in the future. Um, if we see, we can see on the console that we got an alarm at, uh, I guess, five minutes in when there was no activity, and we just got a second alarm here at one minute left, warning that there's no activity. Um, so our idle timeout is appears to be working. We probably have another, I'd say, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. 
and we should get uh, disconnected and logged out. There's the 10 second alarm. And if everything is done right, we should uh, get kicked out. And there we go. The CLI session timed out, and we've been logged out of the console. Pretty easy. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, or my blog. Thanks for watching.